guys can all have a seat. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party tonight. Yes, the evidence. The evidence of God's rule and reign is all over this place. I love the fact that he gives us evidence, that he allows us eyes to see what he's doing. And tonight between both services, 19 people that are going to declare that Christ is all and in all. So first, as we celebrate tonight, I want to remind you and remind all of you, they are no more a child of the King the moment that they're baptized than they were a few minutes ago when we were praying. A Christ has done the work of salvation. They are saved in Him already because of the blood of the Lamb. What baptism is is evidence. It's a declaration and a proclamation. It's an act of obedience, following what Jesus did so that we too could embrace the public declaring of his goodness. And so I just remind all of you, as you come and enter this tub, we get a chance to celebrate all that God has done and the hope of all that he's gonna continue to do. So here, here's what we're gonna do, church, and those watching at home. As we call each person in the tub, you're gonna get to hear then their story be read. It's just a short summary, but I pray that when we, when we call them into the tub, we party, you then listen uh, please give ear, incline your ear to their story. Then we'll baptize them and then we'll party in this place. That sound like a good place to start. You guys ready to go? So, so, first into the tub tonight to get baptized, bring up Marissa Stock. Come on, bring her up. I never knew the Lord. I was fed countless lies about who he is and that separated me from him my entire life, leaving me lonely and purposeless for so long. Everything changed when I heard the good news and I want nothing more than to live the rest of my life for him. I've got to see your salvation right before my eyes, Marissa. And it has been a beautiful thing. And I am so thankful for what he's doing. So my sister in Christ, do you desire in front of this church and before the Lord to profess your faith in Christ. Do you desire to be his disciple? Let's go. Then Marissa, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of his death and raised to walk a new way of life. Yeah, let's go. Amen. 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 Bring up Cortland Barnes, come on. Yeah. When the Lord came to me and I accepted him just a few years ago, I have changed in ways I would never imagine. The Lord has allowed me to see people's hearts and personalities differently. The Lord has allowed my heart to be more accepting. But most importantly, I see and value the forms of God's love as it's shown in my life each day. Cortland is a uh, police officer in our city and gets to see firsthand the brokenness of this world, but tonight he gets to declare that there is one who heals the brokenhearted, restores our sins. So Cortland, before all these brothers and sisters tonight, are you declaring that you've put your faith in Jesus Christ and your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. <laughs> and it's my privilege then to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Baptize with him in the likeness of his death. Raised to walk in the name of the Father. Jenna Robinson, come on, let's go. Give it up for her, she comes on in. My journey with Christ started when one of my best friends invited me to attend a Wednesday night service last October. After that meaningful service, I chose to grow my relationship with Christ. This journey has grown my confidence and it's given me a clear purpose on earth. It has allowed me to gain friendships that I will cherish forever. Jenna, a lot of family here tonight, a lot of friends here, a lot of people in here tonight watching this. Is your desire to declare before all these people that you place your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Mm. And it's my privilege then to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Baptize with him in the likeness of his death. Raised to walk in the newness of his life. Come on! 
Let's bring up Connor Eastman and his two girls. Come on. I love Jesus because he died for my sins and saved me from being out of the presence of God. I believe that God can clean our hearts so that we can love him. He did that for me, so now I want to tell other people how good he is. And that's the end. Hey, uh, um, you love people so much and you want them to show, you want to show them God's love too. And I just want to tell you to never stop loving people that way. Um, Aya, do you want to profess in front of all these people and in front of the Lord that, that you love him, you want to follow him, you want to follow Jesus? Okay, you ready? I'm going to... I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, buried with him in a death like his. And raised with him to the newness of life. Yeah. Let's bring up Laura Lynn. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lord. I believe that the Lord has saved me from darkness and sin and death and forgiven me. I want to stay on this path of righteousness, so I need encouragement and truth from the church to fight Satan's lies and unbelief. I'm thankful to have family who can help me and knows him. Laurelyn, we have watched you grow and grow and grow and ask questions about Jesus, and, and we've just seen your love for Jesus, and your mom and I are so excited to walk in this next part of the journey with you. And so in front of the Lord and all these people, do you declare your faith in Jesus Christ? Do you want to follow him? Yes. All right. And I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in a death like his. And raised him in a son. Yeah! Amen. Bring up Ben States, everybody. Come on, Ben. In my sophomore year of high school, I had addiction and a lust for women that had become uncontrollable. After losing my friends, my academic grades, and my reputation, Christ found me desirable when no one else did, now allowing me to walk in his freedom while boldly telling others of his unrivaled genuine love. Ben, what a privilege it has been to spend four years watching the Lord will you to himself and then watching you respond with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength, how God has risen you up to leadership because of your simple love for him. So I have two questions. Number one, is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Yes, he is. And do you desire to spend the rest of your life obediently loving him? Yes, I want to. Then it is my privilege, my brother, to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ, risen to walk in the newness of life. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Amen. Caroline Hale. Come on, Caroline. Let's go. I wanted to be baptized for a while now to publicly declare the strong urge God has given me to become even closer to him. I pray that with God's help, I can continue to lead others to Christ to have eternal life with him. Hmm. Caroline, you are 16 years old and I am, I am literally with my own eyes seeing the evidence of a young woman who longs for Christ and nothing else. Though young in your faith, I'm seeing this quick expedient uh, just growing desire and I, I cannot wait to continue to grow with you. So my sister, do you desire to profess Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you want to follow him, Holy Spirit empowered? Is that your desire, my sister? Yes. Let's go, Caroline. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of his death and raised to walk a new way of life. Let's give it up for Libby. Come on in, Libby. I grew up in the church, but my heart wasn't softened to the Lord until I was 12 years old. It was then that I realized what a sinner I was and what a savior he was. 
God saved me from my sinful identity and gave me an identity in him. He grows me every day and teaches me to love through him. Met some of your family on the way in here today, and I know they're so excited to be here for this for you, but so is everyone else in this room, because now you have a giant new family, bigger family, because of Jesus. And so by being here tonight in this, in this place, in these waters, are you declaring that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's don't be shy. <laughs> then it's my privilege then for all these people to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Bur buried with him in the likeness of his death. Raised to walk in the newness of life. Yeah, Libby. Yeah, Libby. Come on in, Ryan. Let's give it up for Ryan. I was 10 years old when Jesus Christ came into my life. He saved me from the hurt of the death of my best friend, Jonathan, and my parents' divorce. Jesus showed me love and grace in a time that the enemy really was trying to attack me. I am thankful for his gift of the Holy Spirit and his love. Mm. Ryan, you are, you are such, such a declaration to the rest of us of the kind of courage that the Holy Spirit gives. I am so thankful for your life, Ryan. So thankful for the blessing of your family and what God's doing in your life. And so... I am so, so uh, encouraged that we get to journey together, my brother. So you ready to go, huh? Do you, do you desire in front of all these people and before the Lord to declare that he is your Lord and Savior, Ryan? Is that your declaration tonight? Yes. Come on, Ryan. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of his death, Ryan, and raised to walk a new way of life. Yeah. Come on, Kayla, let's go. Give it up for Kayla Davis, come on. The Lord took hold my seventh grade heart 12 years ago, being so caught up in the world. One Sunday afternoon, the Lord clearly spoke to me in the most beautiful and pure way possible. Ever since that day, I laid down my world-centered life to follow the Lord completely, yet I never quite understood the importance of publicly declaring my obedience to the Lord through baptism. So I am overjoyed to be here in this body, surrounded by my brothers and sisters in Christ, dying to my old self and saying yes to the Lord once more. Kate, my wife, I am so just immensely proud of you for your bravery, for the way that you love the Lord, the way that you make me a better husband and desire for me to lead you. Um, so I'm just so proud of you and I'm so looking forward to how we can continue, continue this journey together. Do you desire in front of the body, in front of these people to profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. But Caitlin, it is our joy, it is our joy to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, my sister, buried with him in the likeness of his death and raised to walk a new way of life. Yeah, keep them coming, Lord. Yes. Last but not least in this gathering, my friends, Avi Gresham, come on. Trust in Christ when I was much younger. I'm thankful for my salvation and for God's faithfulness, even when I am not always faithful. I want to put God first in everything I do and focus on life with Christ at the center. Abby, I have, I have watched you grow as a young woman, and you are a strong, strong woman in Christ. To, to say that his plans for you are far beyond what you can ever dream or imagine. He has visions for your life that you cannot even conceive, my sister. And I'm so thankful that God's given us an opportunity to see it and to watch it and to cheer you on. And so, my sister in Christ, do you desire tonight to declare your allegiance to King Jesus? Is he savior of your life, Abby? Come on. Then, my sister, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of his death and raised to walk a new way of life. Yeah! Let's stand. Come on, let's stand together. Yes, Lord. God, we ask for more. We celebrate what you've done. And we know that you're not done. You're not done saving. You're not done using us as instruments and ambassadors. 
ambassadors and vessels. So God, I pray for a genuine heart of celebration here, not one that's contrived or not one that's built on shaky sand, but one tonight that stands on you, the cornerstone, the unfailing almighty God. So as we continue to worship tonight, as we continue to celebrate, oh God, will you please do a work in this place to glorify and honor yourself in your great name and all God's church celebrated tonight. Come on, let's celebrate together. Amen. You guys can have a seat. Who's ready to party tonight? You guys ready to party? Man, man. Overall tonight, 19 people, 19, declaring that they desire to follow Christ. The first gathering, the baptismal was full. Second gathering, we're getting ready to celebrate. I, I just, I want to remind all of you and remind all of you a very powerful thing about this. Is, is this uh, squad that's getting ready to declare God's goodness, they, they were just as much a son and daughter of the Most High a half an hour ago as they will be in a couple minutes. There is no power in the water. The power is in the saving grace of God. And, and here, here's what's happened. He's, he's given us an opportunity, a symbol to declare before people that we're following him. He's, he's given us an opportunity to remember. He does that in the Lord's Supper and he does it in baptism. And so I, I wanna walk you through how this party is going to go, okay? We're gonna call a person into this tub. And again, we got this water straight out of the tap. There's, it's not Jordan River water, okay? No power in it. We're gonna call them here. And then you're gonna hear read over them their story, their testimony. You're just going to hear it spoken over their life, what God's done. And then, my friends, we will baptize them and celebrate. And so when I, when, when I call their name in, when we baptize them, I mean, let's just erupt, not in contrived joy, but in praise to the one who's done a saving work. So you guys ready to go? You guys ready to go? Man. So first... She's become a dear friend of mine. Let's bring up Taylor Bibb. Come on. Before Christ, I was living for myself and my worth was defined in others. My sophomore year of high school, I was saved, but my faith was completely workspace and stagnant. Last September of 2020, I rededicated my life to the Lord and he completely transformed my life. Since then, I have found my identity as a beautifully broken daughter of the King, and I live my life in and through God's love. Mm. So proud of you. So proud of you, my sister. I have seen a, a deepening, sustaining work of God in your life, Taylor. There are so many people that are here that have been impacted by your faith already, already. And so, my dear friend, I ask, before all these people and the Lord. Are you saying tonight, are you professing tonight that Christ is your king? Is that your profession of faith? Let's go, my sister. Then Taylor, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of death and raised to walk a new way of life. Yeah! Let's bring up Jody King. Jody King, come on. After losing my mom to cancer at the age of nine, I felt my connection to God weaken. Through the deepest of depression and the highest of anxiety, God never gave up on me and has given me endless love, peace, and grace. God has opened my eyes and allowed me to see all the beauty behind being an ambassador for Christ. With sin and doubt, God loves me when I cannot love myself, and he is constantly shaping me into the ambassador he needs me to be. Jody, you're a testimony to us all on what it means to endure. And so I, I celebrate with you the amazing grace that he's extended on your life in spite of pain. He showed you his goodness. And so because of who he is, not because of your strength, do you want to profess in front of all these people and before the Lord that he is your king? Is that your profession, my friend? Yes. Let's go, Jody. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, 
buried with him in the likeness of his death and raised to walk a new way of life. Yeah! Yeah! Praise God. Yeah! Let's go, Rebecca. Come on in, Rebecca. Last year, darkness overcame my life. It was all I could see. The first time at Matthias, God's love overcame me and brought me back to Him. In the coming months, I would decide to actively pursue a relationship with Christ. This has completely changed and transformed who I am today. What an incredible... <laughs> Can we use that mic real quick? Thanks. Rebecca, what an incredible testimony. A friend here standing next to you, a lot of friends out here. Are you in front of all these people tonight declaring that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Yes. Sweet. Are you nervous? Good. Then it's my privilege, my daughter in Christ, to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in the likeness of Christ. Ready to walk. Listen, we're not done yet, just getting started. Let's bring up Jacob. Come on, Jacob. Last year, my desires were just filled with desires that I thought would make me happy. My friends Casey, Dylan, and Peyton kept guiding me to the Lord because of how much they cared about me. Once I accepted Jesus Christ into my life, I felt such an overwhelming sense of joy in my life, and it was truly beautiful. My desires since then have completely changed, and I'm extremely happy to be a part of something bigger than myself for the remainder of my life. Yeah, man. Jacob, I'm so beyond proud of you. And even what's even better is Jesus is beyond proud of you, and I love you more than anything. But God's love outweighs mine by a million times. So be embraced in that and let him guide you and get, bring you peace. So Jacob Delaney, my brother, my friend, do you profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Let's go, bro. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of death and raised to walk a new way of life. accepted Christ as my Savior at a young age. I have been able to see God's hand in all aspects of my life. I got to experience Him and His love in a whole new way when I came to college. I am shown more and more each day how He has always provided for me. Hmm. Just getting to, to see your sincerity, your genuine joy in Christ has been so encouraging to me. So encouraging. Uh, the light that you shine and radiate, my sister, is profound. And so I, I ask you, because of what Christ has done in your life, do you desire to follow him as your king and savior? Is that your desire? Is that your profession of faith? Then, my sister, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of death and raised to walk a new way of life. Yeah! Let's go! Let's go, Jacob Mason. Come on up, Jacob. Let's go, brother. Yeah, let's give it up for Jacob as he comes. Come on. I've been a Christian for as long as I can remember. I've always believed in Christ and that he was the son of God. It just never really connected with me. I knew the facts. I just didn't have the strong belief system like I do now. It was while listening to a Christ-centered song that I knew God was real, I couldn't deny that he was calling me. I accepted his call on my life. There's no other way to put it. God came to me where I was, found me, and he saved me. What he did on the cross, no one could change. What he did for me changes my life, and I only want to bring more people to Christ. Old, young, any race, sex, or background, I want people to know the God that I know. What a testimony. I think we almost plowed into each other walking out the door right there a second ago, didn't we? That was awesome. He was storming in here to get baptized and we about plowed each other. I'm so excited to see you running in here to 
declare in front of all these people tonight that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Is that what you're declaring tonight? Yes, sir. And it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bury with him the likeness of his death. Yeah, raise the walk. Amen. 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 Last but not least, my friends, let's go. Let's get hyped. Sophia, come on in. Come on in. Yeah. I grew up in the faith and accepted Christ as my savior at a young age. I have been able to see God's hand in all aspects of my life. I got to experience him and his love in a whole new way when I came to college. I am shown more and more each day how he has always provided for me. Mm. I just have this, this image in my mind of, of generations of young women who will be poured into and discipled because of God's work in your life, Sophia. So in, in light of this calling that he has for you, as an ambassador and daughter of his, do you desire, because of the grace lavished on you in his son Jesus, do you desire to declare and profess in front of all these folks that he is your king? Is that your desire, my sister? Yes. Let's go. Then I baptize you by that profession of faith in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in the likeness of his death and raised to walk a new way of life. Come on. Let's stand. Come on, let's stand together. Yeah. God, we believe you're not done yet, that there's more. There's more lives to change. There's more transformation, God. We believe your glory is all around. And so, God, fill this place. Fill this place with hope. Fill this place with an understanding of the gospel. And God, I pray that you would shake the foundation of where we stand with your love. In your great name.